this is a question that's been asked over and over again through the blog and through email, so we decided that we might as well address it. That's right. I'll give you a sampling of what a, one of the blog posts said. Just curious, Kim and Chris, is your last name Osmond? Because you <laughs> certainly do look like Marie Osmond and the Osmond family. Signed, Wondering Sandy. <laughs> well, Sandy and everyone else who's wondering, the truth is, I'm a little bit of country, oh. and Chris is a little bit of rock and roll. Oh, Kim, no, <laughs> it's true, no, it's no. true. Hey, at least I didn't mention that you wear purple socks to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all happy about that. Embroidery, definitely. Did you know that you can actually embroider onto paper? It's one of my most favorite things to do, and I'm going to show you how easy it really is. What you'll want to do is um, get out your paper, and normally I would embroider onto everyone we have an exciting show today because we're going to be dishing out the latest cool tool that everyone is talking about the brand new Cricut cake and even more fun news is that we are giving one of those machines away oh there's lots of kind of fun things going on because we're also announcing the winners of the Janome embroidery and sewing machine giveaway so it's gonna be a good one today yeah, absolutely plus do you have a birthday party coming up we'll show you three super quick and easy ideas in our two-minute craft countdown I'm Kim. And I'm Chris. And you're watching the DIY Dish. Hi everyone. Did your mother ever tell you to use it up, wear it out, <laughs> make it do or do without? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're doing just that with today's Earth Day episode. That's right. We are actually going to take some old wool sweaters and turn them into a really cute, sleek sling purse. And we're going to do a project to get the kids involved in our two minute craft countdown. I'm Kim. And I'm Chris. And you're watching the DIY Dish. We're going to be making these cute sling purses today from a felted sweater. Now, how cute is this? Yeah. Don't you love it, Kim? I love it. Yeah. I made it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, you know. Okay. okay. And of course, there's lots of ways to embellish these, and you can find different ideas from our past episodes. And we'll be sure to link you up on the DIY Dish blog. So there you have it. <laughs> okay, what was once something that might have been thrown aside in the trash is now a treasure to show off. this September and we can't wait to tell you about it. It's called the Creative Connection event and I'm telling you that weekend is going to be spectacular. Absolutely Chris, that is actually an understatement. <laughs> Chris and I have already booked our flights because Ooh. we are so excited to get on that plane and go out to Minneapolis. <laughs> so what is the Creative Connection you might ask? Where do we even start? Oh my goodness, okay picture this. Okay. A weekend getaway with girlfriends or as Sounds mothers good. and daughters. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you spend the entire time making doing, yeah. creating, learning how to build your business, eating. Oh, <laughs> and you don't have to worry about the laundry, no. the dog, the dishes, or that husband. <laughs> oh, I mean, just kidding, just kidding. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> just kidding. That's right. And let's have smoothed out. Now take a little cup of water, and you're going to wet your fingers, okay. and just smooth out uh, the top of that paper with water. Okay. Okay. Just making sure that it is all completely covered with water. You don't want it too wet, but you definitely so want So in other it. words, we wouldn't pour the bowl of water on it. No, no. <laughs> don't pour it on it. Just use the fingertips oh, and get a little I'm glad you excited. checked, Kim. Yeah. Glad you checked. Okay. <laughs> I'm anxious. I want it to, you I know, know, get done fast. Exactly. No, take your time and use your, your hands. That's right. Okay. Okay. Any gift with nothing other but a fabric flower we love them. We love them. She can wear it in her purse. Uh, <laughs> wear it in her purse. <laughs> wow. Wear it in her purse. Yeah, she can wear it in her hair. She can wear it in her hair or put it on her purse. <laughs> wow. We better hurry. This is two okay. minutes, Chris. Or make it into a brunch. So we're going to link it <laughs> to the flower ideas we've done so far on the show, and you can find them at the DIYdish.com. That's right. So let me show you how that goes. Here's a normal little out of felt. gift bag. Here's your felt flower, and there you go. Clip it on there, and now she can have it to wear in her purse. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I did it on purpose, I promise. Oh, yeah. Okay, so did we do it? So what I've done here is put right sides together, line it up right along that sticky note, and go for it. I 
frustration when embroidering is that I hate to hoop. And if I can get away without hooping, I'm gonna definitely do it. And there are some great products out on the market for solving that dilemma, but one of the best products I know, and for the price that can't be, can't be beat is this simple roll of Hemingworth double-sided embroidery tape. I simply place it around the outside of my stabilizer and I'm going to peel it off and now I have that ready to go and stick my towel right on top. Make sure it's in an area where your needle is not going to catch into it because trust me, you don't want your needle to get caught in this. So now I simply lay I love that. Put a little name right there, mm -hmm. embroidered across. You can it's embroider so that. It's so fun. Here's one that she's already embroidered. Now to finish it off, we're just going to take a needle and thread. And see this little hair elastic here? We're going to tuck it underneath there and then sew with just a few mm -hmm. stitches to keep that elastic hand to the it. towel. Mm -hmm. And then sew a button to this side. And now you have a closure for your little pouch. That's right. Did we do it in two minutes? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Welcome to the three minute craft <laughs> countdown. <laughs> just carefully peel that off. This is so cool. Okay. Ooh. And look what you've got. Does that look cool or that what? That is beautiful. Yeah, I love it. And that then at beautiful. that point, you could add um, maybe a little bit of bling to the center of that mm -hmm. flower. Mm -hmm. You can pull out some of that rub and buff. Why don't you go ahead and do that, Chris? <laughs> rub and buff. Uh, that is There's a great There's all name. sorts of colors that uh, Amico has provided for mm -hmm. that. So put your favorite color and sewed onto the front. Go ahead and place right sides together because now we're going to take it back to the sewing machine, making sure to leave the opening down here um, left open. open. <laughs> <laughs> and then to go with your quarter inch seam allowance and go all the way around the outside edge. Okay, and then the reason why we leave that open is so we can turn it inside out. Hey, just like a pillow. Just like a pillow. All right. That's right. And it's a fourth of an inch. Yes, quarter okay. inch seam allowance. All right. Okay, so go ahead and I'm on it. That, Kim. <laughs> I wore this one actually last night to a, an event, and I can't tell you how many people yeah. commented on this, and I was so excited to tell them that, look, you're going to find out how to do it on the DIY dish. <laughs> That's so right. there you have it. Part of the fun is being able to say, hey, I created this myself. Yeah. 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 So, so fun. <laughs> I think this would be a great project for teens and teens.